Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Boy, oh boy, do I have a transformation for you guys today. So you always see me do blondes and baby lights and corrections, and I'm known for taking people really, really light and getting them their goal hair. Well, today my client wants to go the opposite. She wants to go brunette. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take a level nine, 10 blonde all the way down to a level four, three-ish with a little bit of pop and actually we're doing this to get her hair a little bit more healthier and she made the decision instead of keeping up with the blonde she wants to go darker so it's less maintenance and she could take the extra funds and get extensions so let's get into it so today there's going to be multiple different steps to achieve this look so i'm going to start out by doing a half baby light but the baby light is actually going to still be our highlight. Usually I'll do the darker formula with the low lights if I'm darkening a blonde or doing a foil conversion. But with her, I'm going to be using this foil work as the highlight pieces. So um, if you've seen me when I was mixing the color, I'm using something a little different today. I'm trying out Shades EQ Cream. Of course, Shades EQ has their gloss that I love, and it's my go-to holy grail. But they also have a cream version, and I decided to try it out today. So I have 5WN7G, and I'm going to add a regular 6N gloss into there, mix them all together with 10 volume. You guys know I love using 10 volume. It gives it a little bit more staying power and you're supposed to use 10 volume with the creams anyway. Um, it's okay to break the rules, shades of shades. It's okay to mix a liquid in with the creams. It's no problem at all. So I'm going around doing a half highlight of this formula. This is around a level six. This is going to be our highlight pop. So I'm going in, I'm leaving bigger subsections than I normally would, and I'm just going in and throwing this low light, which is really our highlight, all around the hair. I'm still gonna do one or two slices of this and then go into really tight baby lights just so she has a pop around the face, and you'll see how it all comes together. Every day we escape Losing all of our faith We can't live this way Feel me slowly fade away Feel me slowly fade away As far as the wind will take me Every day I feel time
So when you fill the hair, you have to put the copper, the red, the orange, all that back into the hair. And if you don't and you just throw like a 4N on her, it's going to go green. So you have to account for every level you're going to miss. So she's around a level 9 right now. So I'm going to use 9G, which is gold. 8CR, which is sunrise, that's copper red. 7C, which is curry, that's copper. 7G, saffron, which is gold. 5CB, which is brownstone, copper brown. And then 5G, caramel. That will give us a weird color but that will give us enough filling in there so that this color the final color we put on top of it will hold wonderfully and not go muddy or you know fade really quickly so these six colors I'm going to put on all the hair that's left out and then after about 10 minutes I'm going to go back formulate the final color and then go back and put that right on top directly of this color so as you guys usually see when I'm adding dimension or darkening a blonde, I usually do um, a regular highlight low light and you'll see me mix warm tones, obviously, which is my filler in with my formula. So what I'll normally do, say I'm doing a level seven low light for a blonde, I'll do seven N three quarters of that. And then I'll add a quarter of the seven G that G is acting as my filler. I like using G's when I'm filling for low lights because when it fades, it usually doesn't get too brassy or too orangey or coppery or red. It just fades to more of a gold and that's it. With her, we're taking her dark enough that I'm literally going in and doing it the traditional way we learn in school and filling her hair all over all the dropouts with straight up golds and coppers and reds. And what this is going to do is really allow this color to suck in and last long. Um, so I'm doing this, I'm putting it all over the hair, not really focusing on the fresh virgin hair because that hair is basically virgin and it's fresh, so that doesn't need to be filled. And after I do this, I'm going to go in, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to towel blot all the hair that's left out. I'm not going to rinse it off, nothing like that. I have foils on there, I don't want to get too crazy. And I'm just going to take a towel and blot all of this red formula. And then I'm going to take the final formula and throw it directly right on top of all the hair that's red. There's a ton of different ways you guys can tackle this kind of thing to get the look we're going for today. But this is just the way I chose to do it and what I like and what works for me. I'm going to do three different colors. Actually, I'm going to do four different colors. I'm going to do 3N with a drop of 3N, that's it. 4N, 4NA, which is Storm Cloud, and one of my favorite, Dark Roast, which is for ABN. ABNs are the new line from a couple months ago. They're cool ebony browns, and they're very cool. Very, very cool, and I love that. And we need to counteract all this copper red that's in our hair right now. So the NA and the ABN are very strong, the blue base, and um, they'll kick that out. And the 3N and 4N will just make it a little bit more neutral without going overly ashy. All right, so I didn't show you guys doing that because I felt like it was unnecessary. You guys know how to put a color all over. I did the same thing I did with the filler, but I just used that final formula. And look how much more brunette she got. So now it's the fun part, the toning part. Even though this is an unnecessary step, I am a perfectionist and I believe in doing things that make us stick out from another stylist because every street of every corner, there is a great talented colorist. So you want to do something that makes you stand out and doing these extra steps to ensure a beautiful blend is my style. So I'm going in with Reckon JZQ 4N 4NA with the processing solution and I'm going in and I'm basing her. This is what I would do for a blonde as we would know as a root shadow or a root toner. What this is going to do, it's going to merge the pieces that are a level 7-ish that were in the foils earlier, which is going to be our pop pieces, in with the brunette color all around the hair. Every day we escape, losing all of our faith. We can't live this way, feel me slowly fade away. And oh my god, you guys, look at these final results. It came out beautiful. 
I'm about to show you guys what it looked like eight weeks later when she came back and we did two bags of tape and extensions and we're just so pleased with this. She loves it. I love it. She's so excited. You can even see in the videos. Well, I hope you guys learned something today on this tutorial. Let me know down below in the comments video ideas you want to see and what you want to see in the future. I want to put out content you guys love and want to see. I love you all so very much. I'll see you in the next video next Monday. Take care. So long for now, guys. Mwah. I'm not the one